All right, YouTube, what the freak is going on? It's your boy Steady Club, aka King SK. Guys, coming to you with another freaking vlog. So today is March 2nd, my freaking birthday. Let's freaking go, baby. Get ready to turn the freak up today, man. Absolutely sensational. So first things first, I already hit my barber up. I'm just like, yo, I need to be in the shop as soon as you get there. So he's just like, yo, bro, I'm not going to be there until 1030. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to see you then. I'm going to see you then, yo. Because like this... That ain't gonna do it. Not for the B day. No freaking way. So we getting ready to go there, and get sauced up. So and the next thing you guys will see me, and trust me, I'm gonna be a whole new man. This is the B day vlog. Hey guys, I'm not even gonna lie, yo. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm about to set a crazy, crazy, crazy like goal for this video. I'm not even gonna lie, guys. I need 50 likes on this vlog. I need 50 freaking likes on this vlog, man. 50 likes on this vlog. So if you see this vlog, only thing I'm asking for for my birthday is a simple like on the video. If you guys can do that, that just I'll be forever grateful for that. That's just a happy birthday to SK. I, and definitely, if it's not too much to ask, can you just comment down below, happy birthday, SK? If it's not too much to ask. But uh, thank you guys so much, and I'll uh, see you guys soon. YouTube, your boy is back in the building, baby. Like I said, this is definitely the signature cut. As you guys can see, it's just fire. Huge shout out to my freaking barber. So now, obviously, what I'm about to do now is go home, freshen up, get all cleaned up, get the birthday outfit on, and vibe out. All right. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do first, but I do know I'm about to uh, just go home and freshen up and, you know, just finalize this Rico, Rico Suave look. You know what I'm saying? You did. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Yeah, so if you guys thought I was skipping leg day just because the B-Day, nope. I'm in here. I'm getting ready to get like a quick hour, hour and a half session. And like I said, we got to do legs today. I'm going to do a little bit of arms as well, but leg day is the hardest day. You know what I'm saying? If you consistently have done legs, then kudos to you, man. Kudos to you. Leg day for sure is one of the hardest days ever. But hey, we're getting ready to get into this workout. I'll show you guys a little sneak peek, and uh, yeah, that'll be that. So stay tuned. All right, so I've got to show you guys. This is the gym drip check. So yeah, wow, fresh cut, hitting crazy. YouTube, your boy is back and uh, 
Yeah, you did he. Looking absolutely sensational. Whoo. Definitely on fleek. Birthday fit going crazy. Just looking good. So, what we're getting ready to do is uh, go out to eat right now. Just going to go by myself. Probably going to go out to eat again when my brother gets off work with both my brothers. Because uh, that's actually how I want to spend my birthday with them. But, you know, the bills got to get paid. So, my brother's currently at work right now. So, uh, later on, uh, we're going to go out to dinner more than likely as well. And, um... I won't record that so that's why i'm going on like a solo one right now by myself for the uh youtube channel so uh yeah we're getting ready to head over to the uh restaurant of choice and uh, i'll see you guys once i get there all right guys we finally made it to the legendary place and if you guys faithfully watch the vlogs you guys know where i'm walking into right now just gave you three seconds to guess where I'm walking into, and yes, for everybody who chose Target, you are right. We are walking into Target, but we're not getting anything out of Target. It's just, I don't know, I just fell in love with walking into Target. So, um, what we are going to be doing is we're getting ready to go find a place in the mall with a good scenery, and we are going to take some pictures. And for a second there, it's just like... I didn't think the freaking door was gonna open. Like, it just took forever. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try and go find some nice scenery, take some flicks, and then after that, we are gonna go out to eat. So, yeah. So for anybody who ever thinks about it, it's just like, that guy's just looking at the vlog. <laughs> for anybody who's ever wondering, like, you can go out by yourself. Like, you don't need nobody to have fun. Like, you literally don't need nobody to have fun. And the thing is for me, it's just like, it's not that I couldn't get anybody to go out to eat. It's just, I didn't want to. Like, I literally didn't want to. I just wanted to enjoy my birthday the way I wanted to enjoy it. Just all me. Just solo dolo. And, you know, if you guys know me, that was pretty hard. Because, you know, I always go get a short. Like, no matter what. No matter what. Like, if I, if I really am in the mood to get a vibe, I'm going to get a shorty. You know what I'm saying? So, I just decided, I'm just like, hey, be disciplined and, you know, treat yourself. Be great to yourself. Focus on yourself. And right now, I'm just in such a great mindset. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot been going on behind the scenes that I just really can't tell you guys about yet. Because just like one of those things where it's just like, if I don't put it into action then there's no need for me to tell y'all. So I'd rather put in action first, watch it thrive, and then come to y'all like, yeah, this is what we on, you know what I'm saying? So um, that's what I'd rather do first. So uh, as of right now, I do think the top floor is probably gonna be the best place to catch some, but um, also it has to be like a high traffic area as well, just cause of simple fact. We gotta ask someone to take the actual picture. So that's important as well. But there's this, um, there's this uh, cell phone place in here. Like I seen it, I was just, I was just walking and I seen this store. They just specifically sell phone cases and, and things for your phone. So um, I am gonna try and find that cause I need a case. I need a case for my new phone and I need a, a screen protector as well. So uh, we on a mission to go find that, of course. And um, it's gonna take me a while. I'm gonna literally have to walk up and down every floor on both sides to find it. So once I do find it, I'm gonna pick the vlog back up and then show you guys the store and let you know which level it was on. Cause I can't remember which level this store was on. So, hmm, excuse me, stay tuned guys. All right guys, I finally made it to the place. It's this uh, little butter. So uh, this is the place I'm going to try today. And um, it's 
basically hibachi. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try some hibachi out. This is my first time trying hibachi in New York as well. So, uh, yeah, super excited. And, uh, you know, we're gonna capture the whole experience too. And um, there's these interesting drinks in the cooler. Uh, I'm gonna ask him like what the flavor is and all that good stuff. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, just me. Uh, yeah, for here. And um, that drink, excuse me. What flavor is that drink? That's uh, original or strawberry. Strawberry? Yes. Yeah, can I, can I get that to drink? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so uh, he said it's strawberry, so yeah, I'm definitely excited about trying that because holy, strawberry is usually good. So, well, yeah, let's see what we can do. Um, is Okay. I was trying to find a better lighting place. got like a, a a warm calm vibe going on in here and um actually there's nobody in here so um this is kind of good as well for what uh, we want to do so um i'm actually gonna ask him because i think this would be a vibe like this type of thing would be a vibe for a nice uh birthday picture as well so uh yeah, he's coming back. I'm gonna ask him if he can uh, capture a photo for me. So give me a sec, guys. All right, guys. So super excited. Like I said, this is my first time trying hibachi in New York. So uh, I really, really enjoy that there's nobody in here because this is giving off just the vibe I wanted. Like, um, like I want to be like just me, just me with myself and um, you know, obviously capture some footage for you guys as well. And um, yeah, cause um, like initially, I, I, I had this mission where I was just like, all right, I'm gonna go out and find me a shorty, you know, ask for dinner. And um, yeah, and just, you know, see how that goes. But then I just realized it's just like, for me, I gotta understand that women are just a really big distraction of mine. Like, and I think it's because of, like my success rate with getting them. It's just like, I don't have a problem with uh, getting a girl. So because of that, because of me not lacking in that area, I'm so like quick to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like me personally, I'm not looking for a relationship right now. You know what I'm saying? There's just certain things in my life that I need to accomplish that I haven't accomplished yet. So I think focusing on me and also, you know what I'm saying? I have a son. He's getting ready to turn three next month. So I think me and my son is the main focus right now. And then if someone comes along during that, then I'm open to that, but I'm not searching for it. Like I'm not seeking for it. Like, I'm totally fine with, you know, just, you know, just looking up and enjoying each other's time. When we do enjoy each other's time, uh, as far as like actually settling, I'm not looking for it, but I'm not saying that I'm not open to it either. So yeah and then i just think it's rare because like you know my dream girl that i imagine myself marrying and stuff like that it's uh she's gonna be mixed either uh Asian or cuban yeah i want i want some foreign yeah definitely uh white-headed green-eyed blue-eyed baddie something like that you know what i'm saying so uh, that's like the type i'm shooting for so yeah we'll just see how that goes but i know you guys can see this and uh this is the drink i decided to go with i just want to try this it's strawberry flavored it's a uh, ramun japanese carbonated soft drink so i actually don't even know what that means so whenever or whoever's gonna come and um you know ask me what i want to eat and stuff like that for today i'm going to ask them what does this actually mean so um let's just get a taste of this real quick what the heck is that supposed to happen like that at this point, I'm not even sure if I'm going to open this thing correctly. Huh. 
do I need this? <laughs> like, what the heck? I don't even know how to open this thing. Am I weak or... How do I open this? You use the top. Huh? The top. What is this? This one. Oh, oh I just push it in? Yes. Oh, nah. That's fire. That is fire. I would have never guessed that myself. So, just off the smell, absolutely sensational. I think I'm really going to like this drink, so uh, here we go. Okay, it is light in flavor, so it smells really good. It doesn't taste bad at all, but I would just want a stronger strawberry taste. That's about it. Like I, I like like my favorite family is strawberry feta. So just comparing it off that, it's just like it's like I want to have a watered down family. So uh, this is not bad. I'll give it like a six out of ten. But like attention to detail and you know just like the glass itself oh 10 out of 10 because this like this whole kebab right here was fire like it's just like yeah you use the top you take this piece push this piece in and then i don't know if you guys can see this but the ball like there was a ball right here and that's what was confusing me on how to open it but what you do is you take this piece and you push the ball down and that's why the glass is designed like this, because the ball just sits right there. So that way, you don't have to risk swallowing the ball. So, W, like, this was well thought through. Absolutely sensational. Fire. I just, like, that, that could have easily been a 10 out of 10 overall, if the flavoring would have been there the way I thought it would have been. But, it's all good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm getting ready to check out this menu. Getting ready to check out this menu. So. Alright. Oh, I forgot to ask him what the name of this was. Alright. So they got... Excuse me. Oh my god. Mm, excuse me. This thing is $5. <laughs> hey, luckily I'm spoiling myself for my birthday because that's crazy. This little bitty thing, five dollars? Yeah, right. That's definitely a bottle drink for sure. Okay. I'm done with drinks. I need to see some food. Where's the food? Alright. So we got some soup, salad, mm -mm. sushi, no. Kitchen beginnings. Oh, I see some dumplings. Ooh, this is fire. They got golden shrimp. It's crispy shrimp wrapped in crab meat served with mango butter sauce. Definitely trying that. We're definitely trying that. Definitely trying that. So that's going to, I guess, be our appetizer and, uh, I know I'm getting uh, hibachi chicken and shrimp, rice and vegetables. That's for sure. I just gotta find it. And I think I think I just found it. Wait, did they have a picture of that other thing? They did not. But their presentation is definitely absolutely sensational. Um. All right. So, right here at the bottom, this is what we're going to get. That's the hibachi chicken and shrimp. Right here. That's what we're getting. So. They got fried ice cream as well. Oh my God. I'm getting ready to go crazy in here. I'm 
getting ready to do this. What else they got? They got some tofu. I ain't trying that. here and then once I order I'm going to pick the uh, camera back up hi right, guys I forgot to freaking record when I ordered but I got the older shrimp I also got a bunch of chicken and shrimp with fried rice and then what else did I get? I had to order a soda so I got me a Sprite and um, I'm gonna try the fried ice cream dessert as well. But right now uh, I got some soup and some salad but I ain't eating the salad. Thank you. So just got a Sprite. But I am very interested in uh, the taste of the soup. So let's see what we got going on right here. So let me know down below in the comment section if you guys are fans of mushrooms. I like them. I like the soup. That's good. <laughs> All right. So while we wait, I told you guys to uh, ask me some questions on Instagram. So. I'm gonna answer a few of the questions right now. And uh, let's see. Where are the questions? Alright. First question is what state would you like to buy a house in? Um honestly, I wanna go to the West Coast somewhere. So, I don't know where exactly on the West Coast, but I definitely want to go to the West Coast. But if I had to buy a house on the East Coast, I think it'd definitely be New York. I think it'd definitely be New York. That would be vibes. Uh, get a firehouse out here. Sensational. Uh, next question is... When you visit in North Carolina again uh, for my son's birthday, so April, the weekend of his birthday, I'll be back in North Carolina. But I'm only gonna stay to celebrate his birthday. Then I'm coming back because you know I got work. Um, uh, this is just a funny one, just because of the person. It's uh. The last place you would ever want to visit based on their accent, for me, it's Liverpool, isn't it? Um, just because I know this is going to make your day, I'm going to say the last place I want to visit is Liverpool, isn't it? Um, and I'll do one more question. I like this question. It's uh, what would you define success as and how do you see yourself achieving that? Um, personally, I think you don't actually know what success is until you're too deep in it. Um, you gotta achieve it first, me personally. But um, I just think the ability to live and do as you please 
were equal to success for me, me personally. I can't speak for anybody else. Um, also, the way I plan on achieving it is, you know, sticking to my blueprint. As you guys know, you know, I was doing full-time gaming, you know, that's just a dream job for, you know, most people in the gaming scene. And in fact, I was able to taste that, um, you know, one of the highest levels, it was, it was amazing, you know what I'm saying? To uh, wake up every day, grab a controller, play a video game for 8 to 12 hours, and make a living off that, I don't see a complaint there. And uh, many people don't have that luxury as well, so, uh, you know, that's one form of it. Another form of it is just, you know, changing your mindset, you know, being able to want to go into different business ventures, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like I was telling you guys earlier in the vlog, it's just, you know, there's businesses that, you know, me and my brothers think about starting up and, um, you know, I don't want to speak on it until it's already happening, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want it to get juiced. I just want to, as you would say, see some success in it and then let you guys know, like, hey, this is what I'm doing now. This um, profiting things like that because you never know it could turn to something that you know I could teach you guys something like that or you know we can become business partners you know the sky's the limits when it's come to business so um, yeah that, that'll that be my ultimate answer to uh, what I would define success as so I'm gonna finish uh, eating this soup and then I'm gonna wait for my meal and Hopefully I catch it on the way to the table, so that way uh, I can catch that on camera for you guys. But uh, yeah, stay tuned guys. Alright guys, this is my freaking appetizer. Looks absolutely sensational. Now, this smells like some type of duck sauce. I've never been the biggest fan of duck sauce, so I'm not eating that, but let's go ahead and try this golden shrimp. So this is shrimp wrapped in crabby, and it's fried. Fire. I don't know what this glaze is on top of it, but screw it. You know what I'm saying? We gotta try new things. That's one thing I don't do. I don't never try new food, so let's just try it out, see how it goes. I may love it. give it another bite before I give it a rating. Mm. All right, guys. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. That is so good. Like, this is 10 out of 10. Like, every time I come here, I gotta have this as an appetizer place. It's just so fire. 10 out of 10. Give me a little strawberry. Fire. But yeah, that's the golden shrimp. And whenever I play the food comes, I'll show you guys that. We'll dig in. And uh, yeah, that'll be the meal for the day. But I'm very excited for the freaking dessert. Because fried ice cream? What is that? I never even heard of that. So uh, stay tuned. Alright guys, the food came pretty quick. So, as far as the rating on how fast you get your food, Basically, instantly. I just ordered and already got my food, so excited about that. The delivery time is really quick. Oh my god, but this plate is legendary. So, there you guys go. 
It's gotta get a thumbnail. And then, I also got some fried rice on the side. So, I didn't, well, I didn't read. So I can't say I didn't know, I just didn't read. But, um, we got us some vegetables here, some chicken, shrimp, and then the noodles. I thought the fried rice was gonna be like the main side, but it's actually noodles, so. I'm really excited about that. Like, that's really good. Because I can't lie, that it's like, when I would go to Hibachi in North Carolina, I would always wish I could have noodles as well. Like, I, like this would be my first experience having noodles and rice. So we're gonna see which one blends the best on top of the uh, vegetables as well. That freaking golden shrimp uh, appetizer is fire. Like, 10 out of 10. Let's see what this is. and the quality of the food is automatic 10. Like, I can tell this is fresh vegetables, chicken flavor, sensational. That's one thing I can say they do have over the uh, North Carolina Abati place is this chicken is actually uh, juicy. It's not real dry. I don't think you can go wrong with freaking shrimp. If you mess up shrimp, you need to go out of business. That's just my personal experience. Um, and the, um, the noodles, the texture is really good. That's one thing I was very worried about. Sometimes it's overcooked. Or sometimes I just don't know what people doing with their noodles. For real. But that right there, was a 8.8. .8. So the reason I did take off points is it's not as hot. It's not as hot. So it's, it's literally room temperature fine. Like the moment it gets to the table, you can pop it right in your mouth. You like, didn't have to blow on it or nothing. You know, some people, they would prefer it. Just be able to dive straight in. But for it to be like, you know, a little bit more on the top side coming up, I would have enjoyed that much more. So now, this go around, I'm gonna do uh, chicken, shrimp, and rice together. See what I think of that. I'm gonna tell you guys which one I prefer more, because legit the first time I'm able to get both at the same time. So let's do this. Rice texture was definitely good. Um, again, it came ready to eat. Like the temperature of the rice, like, you just eat it right away. It's not hot. You just get straight to it. Um, that was good. But I feel like I need to put some of the sauce from the chicken on the rice. Because it's legit just fried rice. Like, they didn't put any seasoning on it. So, the rice also has um, eggs in it, uh, corn, carrots, and 
that seems to be all I can see visually. Oh, we got peas. See a pea in here. Excuse me. So it's corn, carrots, peas, uh, fried egg, and then the fried rice. So what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna get some rice. I'm gonna put it in some of this chicken sauce and then give that combination a go again. See how it goes. I'm gonna actually put a piece of egg in there too, just to see if I'll enjoy it. Let's get some of this sauce on that uh, rice. Let me get this. I'm pretty sure there's peas somewhere else, but I just want the full experience. So I got one piece of corn, one piece of carrot, one pea, one piece of uh, fried egg. And now we're getting ready to try this all together again with the sauce though, with the sauce this time. Let's see how it goes. Did I lose anything? Yep, I lost my phone. Let me put that back up there. Yo, this corn is stubborn. All right, there we go. All right, let's do this. Oh yeah, that's the one right there. That's exactly what the rice was missing, just some flavor. So, once I put the rice in the chicken sauce, fire, fire. Mm. Mushroom and zucchini, really good. I know a lot of people don't really like vegetables all together, but especially freaking mushrooms. But me personally, it's not that bad. Well, I can't even say not that bad. I enjoy it. I don't enjoy purple onions. I'm not eating it. So, overall, as of right now, as it stands, I'll give it an eight and a half. Now, that fried ice cream could come, and that could make it a 10 out of 10, nine, or we could drop down. So, as of right now, we're at an 8.5 out of 10. I'm getting ready to cut this joint out, be a pig, and wait for the dessert. Hold on. You guys don't get to see me drink any spray. What's wrong with me? Cheers. Nice and bubbly. Alright man, fine. You can have some. I wasn't that sure, I'm not gonna lie. Wasn't that sure, but we only give him some chicken though. Here. Eat. Hurry up. Alright. I'm gonna get back with you guys. All right, guys, so the meal was absolutely sensational. Uh, the flavor was just great. And I would definitely recommend this place for uh, any celebration, really. Uh, right now, I'm on the way to the bathroom. And um, yeah, so uh, I'm really enjoying in here for real. Um, I was hoping the... Uh, bathroom had 
better lighting, but it doesn't. But I'm definitely gonna try and get some uh, pictures in because the scenery in here is fire. So I'm gonna get back with you guys because I definitely gotta pee. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright guys, so presentation wise, fire. So this is fried ice cream. It looks so good I don't even know where to start. Let me get a picture actually. That's what I should have did. I didn't get no pictures of my phone, but I'm definitely about to get one of this uh dessert. Just got a little BTS behind the scenes. All right, let's see what we think of this. Okay. Let's get some more ice cream. Get some more cream. Here, you guys have to. I thought about you guys first this time. Alright, here we go. Because this was so good, it bring up my overall rating to nine and a half. I was so like nervous to try this that I just like I didn't understand the concept of like how can you fry ice cream? You know what I'm saying? That was the part that was confusing me. But also that also was the part that got me like fried ice cream? Definitely gotta try that. So hey. Overall, 9.5 out of 10. That was my dinner and dessert. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy as much as I did. Don't forget to drop a like. Subscribe to our brand new. Turn on post notifications on. And guys, we'll catch you in the next one. Alright guys, that's all that's left. That's really just a shell though. I destroyed the ice cream and uh, the whipped cream. But now we're getting ready to head out. We're getting ready to get up out of here. I really, really enjoyed this experience. This was exactly what I needed and wanted it to be. So now, what I'm getting ready to do is something I told you guys about that I was going to do that you may or may not remember but I'm gonna do this just for the simple fact it's been something I always wanted to do uh, growing up I wasn't allowed to get tattoos piercings none of that anything feminine according to my dad was not allowed so well I'm not gonna go in there just yet because of the music but yeah so anything down that lane, my dad wouldn't allow me to do. As um, far as the ears piercings go, um, there was like these magnetic earrings you can get out of the freaking beauty supply. I used to get those. My mom would allow me to get them, but she'd just be like, make sure your dad don't see it. So um, of course I wasn't sneaky enough. Like, my dad always end up catching me with a stupid magnetic earrings. So, what I'm getting ready to do now is 
I'm about to go. I'm about to get my nose pierced. This is always something I want to do to complete my Rico Suave look. Cause yes, I am indeed a pretty boy. I accepted my fate. You know what I'm saying? My appearance definitely matters a ton to me. And you know, once I get to the point where I'm financially wealthy enough, I'm gonna go get my teeth done as well. You know what I'm saying? Like I want my appearance to be top tier a1 at all points and um unfortunately i did not you know do the extra care for your teeth to keep them you know sparkling white naturally so you know um i do like uh vvs diamond grills you know that cost thirty thousand dollars to get you know top and bottom so uh, i will have a moment in my life where you know i strive to go get a thirty thousand dollar smile so you know who knows you know in one year i can get that done or it might take three may take five may take ten but i know it's gonna be a certain point in my life where i want to get that done just because that's something i'm very interested in and then once i get tired of those i'm definitely going white flawless well i can't even say vvs i can't really say vvs i'm so obsessed with them but i'm gonna go white flawless veneers and I'm gonna get those permanent and that, that's just gonna be my teeth. So I'm gonna have a drop dead smile. Like as soon as I open my mouth, it's gonna be perfection. I keep walking back towards the place I'm gonna go into to get it done. But I keep realizing that they're playing the stupid copyrighted music, so I gotta stay away. But um, yeah, guys, so uh, I'm gonna get ready to go in here. And then also I'm gonna ask them if the music is gonna be playing in the uh, back back there because I do wanna record this experience for you guys so you guys can see it. So um, yeah, give me one second, I'll be right back with you guys, all right? All right, that was a big epic fail. So I went in there, I asked him, I was, I asked him about the music and he's just like, oh no, nah, he won't have no copyrighted music on. He'll just have some calm, meditating music, you know, to calm people's nerves down, but I'm not nervous or nothing like that. Like, piercings, they don't hurt me. Uh, I don't know if tattoos will hurt me, but I have a high tolerance for pain. Like, even when I broke my leg, like, I don't think a tattoo will be anywhere near the pain of me breaking my leg. So, I've already endured that in my life at such a young age. So, that gave my tolerance for pain just through the roof. But, um, the guy downstairs who actually told me where to go to get my nose pierced, told me there's one more spot on the third floor so i'm heading down there and what i'm really hoping is that they will allow me to record because that guy is just like he won't allow you to record in the actual piercing room so that sucks so what i'm really hoping for is the one downstairs is the goats they do allow me to freaking record because i want to capture this for you guys if they don't allow the recording then screwed i'm not getting it done unless i can record it i want you guys to see it so you know like i use myself as like motivation and a way to give other people confidence because like i was blessed like i, I really was like my confidence and you know things like that it's just a lot of people lack and it's like second nature for me like it doesn't bother me any so here's the hard part though I don't know what place it is that does no piercings. So I'm gonna try and figure that out. I'm gonna walk this whole floor till I find it. So I'll be right back with you guys, all right? All right, guys, so I actually found a spot upstairs. I thought it was Claire's the person was talking about, but Claire's was like, they don't do no piercings either. So I came back to the spot that I walked past the first time, but they had their nose piercings on the other side. So when I just looked at one side, I'm just like, yeah, they probably don't do it either. but. When Claire's was like, nah, we don't do it. So I was just like, let me just ask, you know what I'm saying? So he was like, yeah, I do it. And even better, he's like, you know, I'll turn the music off. You can record. So you guys get to see the whole process, which I really wanted. So I'm getting ready to let uh, one of his employees record while we get it done. So uh, let's go, guys. It's so funny when, like, I'm recording stuff like that. Yeah. People's walking past. Like, what's this guy doing talking to a camera? <laughs> I mean, everybody's kind of doing it. But it's 
got that on this one. Let me see. I think that's a good spot. It's not too far back, it's not too forward. It's in the middle of the nose and it's right before your crease right there. This thing is a good spot. If you want it higher up or? No, 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 I'll we'll go with that. Let's go guys, drop a freaking like if you're excited. I'm freaking pumped. Like I said, like my dad wouldn't allow me to do none of this stuff. Like I already knew since like ninth grade, like, I had like the pretty boy thing going on, but like he wouldn't just allow stuff like piercings, even tattoos. Like he said tattoos was feminine. I'm just like, what? So now I'm grown. I don't care what he got to say. We <laughs> doing this. <laughs> Woo! Teardrop. So, it's, it's just a uh, tight pinch, very, very tight pinch, and you actually feel it in your ear. Yeah, I felt it in my ear, which was weird. <laughs> so, I felt it like right in here. Just put pressure on this so we stop. So, W, let me know what you guys think down below. We dropped a little tear. Hey, you know what they say, gangsters cry too. So it's all good. So guys, he literally told me, he's just like, yo bro, you wipe your nose, the freaking ring can fall out. What happened to my ring? It's gone. The freaking nose ring is gone. I literally took this nap and tapped my nose just for the blood and it's gone. So I'm like, where'd it go? Look on the floor, it fell on the freaking floor. So he's a W man, so he's getting ready to put another one in for me. And he gave me two for free. So you know what I'm saying? Hey, you gotta appreciate this guy. If you don't mind hopping on camera, you can hop up there and say something. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we getting ready to get this thing done again. So you guys go watch. Again. <laughs> Let's do it. So I just went right back through? Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Oh my god, they're breaking their necks. Like this mom and daughter just walked past, yeah. breaking their necks. All right, you good. All right, yeah. fire. <laughs> Hey man, I, I, can't, I can't explain enough how much I appreciate that, man. Because yeah, I was panicking. I'm like, no <laughs> way I just did that. Well, I'm going to give you some O-shaped ones to take home so they lock in better. Okay. So they don't slip out, okay? Hey, shout out to my man. What's your name, man? Tim. Tim. Yeah. Hey, shout out to you, brother. And what's your name? Genesis. Genesis. Behind the cam, you already know the vibes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. Bow! Fire! Alright, where do I need to go? Is the post office down this way, so that means I park over there. So, we finally did the final touch, and uh, I'm not gonna lie, I love it. So, what I am gonna do is like when this thing heals completely, I am gonna go get a big fat freaking earring and put that joint in my nose and see. I don't think a big fat one's gonna look good just because of the simple fact that, um, what, 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 simple fact of, mm, excuse me, oh, my nose is so tiny, like I have such a narrow, tiny nose, so I don't think it's gonna look the best, but we'll see, all right, one thing I gotta do, I gotta do a double check to make sure I got all my stuff, so give me one second, guys, because I'm all over the place right now, all right, guys, I'm on the way out, Leaving out of Target, of course. And, um, yeah, I just feel so good. Like, I feel great. So, I definitely gonna have to get a size bigger than this uh, nose ring. Because I want it to be noticeable. But, uh, probably just the angle. Yeah, that's, that's all it is. It's just the angle I'm holding the camera from. 
but uh yeah that's just short people problems but yeah so um the guy he gave me three nose rings if we want to be technical four because one dropped on the floor and he was like he's not allowed to use that one anymore so i had to throw that one away and um just for all that trouble i gave him a tip as well so i gotta go get the uh the solution to clean my nose with make sure i'm good um tomorrow so uh i probably just ask my brother if he don't mind to uh just go pick that up for me but uh yeah so um that's gonna do it for today's vlog um that's all i'm gonna do for my birthday not much but hey it is what it is because at the end of the day these past couple of years i haven't been able to celebrate it at all so i'm grateful uh i appreciate you guys you know what i'm saying much love to you all and i gotta get out this guy's way because he's about to get in his car <laughs> sorry about that but um yeah so like i was saying i appreciate every single last one of you guys make sure you do drop a like subscribe if you are brand new turn the post notifications on and yeah guys y'all have a wonderful night thank you for tuning in it's been boy steady clapper aka king sk i'm signing out guys peace peter peace peace